Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm so fucking light and pale. You guys, this is my summer color, so. <laughs> Are we proud? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> How are you guys doing this a wonderful day? It is currently beautiful, sunny, hot as actual hell, to be honest, in, in freaking LA. It's actually hot as hell. It's hot as the devil's dick up in here. Yeah, he just plopped it on earth and he said, Enjoy. We said, yeah. Anyway, so you guys, today's video, I'm gonna be doing another BoxyCharm unboxing video. Thank you to Boxy for partnering with me in today's video again, and we did this last month, and you guys seemed to like it, and it was really, really, really fun, and I actually really, really enjoyed it, and BoxyCharm enjoyed it too, so I was like, you know what? Let's do it again. And maybe we can just do it every single month. What I like about doing BoxyCharm videos is that I'm very, very bluntly honest about what I think about the products inside the box, and BoxyCharm knows that, and they actually enjoy me giving my fully hardcore, honest opinion on things. So I really, really, really like that. And that goes to every brand that ever wants to work with me because they know I'm very opinionated. That's just how I am though. Like I want to, you know, be able to take care of you guys and you guys take care of me. Like I want it to be as amazing. If I'm gonna do this partnership with someone, I want it to be as amazing as possible. And if you guys don't know, BoxyCharm is basically a monthly subscription box that you can like purchase and then you get like a box every single month. But yeah, you guys, that's what today's video is going to be. We're gonna do a little unboxing and a try on haul version of it. That's why I have no makeup on today. I want to try on the products in the box. I don't know what's in the box yet other than like the sneak peeks that BoxyCharm on their Instagram. So I'm gonna try these out. I have nothing on my face right now. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys do not like me, please do thank you. You know the drill with that. Let's get this bitch started. <laughs> Okay guys, so here we have our August Boxy Charm box. What a cute little peachy box. <laughs> She's pink. Okay guys, so we are opening the box. We are here. We are queer. And it is Boxy Charm Totally. And it's a very pinky vibe. Like the whole thing is pink. Pink, 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 pink. We're all pink up in here. Oh my God, okay, okay. We're gonna go down the line first and see what we have here. So we have the Becca Cosmetics Hydra Mist and Refresh Powder. Full size Becca powder. This is the Becca powder that I'm thinking about. I've tried this before and I was not a fan. Next we have the Wander Glow Ahead Illuminating Oil. So this guy right here, this little Wander Beauty. Okay, we have Tarte Big Ego Mascara and I have used this before and I really, really, really like this. A full size. We have Ace Beauty Glimmer Shadow Duo. Two Ace Beauty Glimmer Shadows right here. Boom. And then we have the Steve Laurent Lip Liner right here. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with everything first. We're just gonna go down the line and just see exactly. We're gonna try them out and see what we think. I'm gonna start off with the primer first. This is the Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face, I mean it's a face oil. And this guy retails for $42. And you guys, the cool thing about BoxyCharm is that you pay 21 bucks a month and they send you like full size products. Like all this stuff in this box is $21. And you get all of these things. That Tarte Mascara, the Becca Powder, the Wander Beauty Illuminating Oil. Like there's a lot of things in here that you're kind of like, how do they do this for the amount that they do it for? Anyway, it shocks me every time. So I'm gonna go ahead and take, <gasps> it's a pink oil, it's peachy pink. Okay, so we're gonna take this here. Okay, so I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm oily. <laughs> so I'm gonna test this little beauty oil out. It has a little bit of like shimmer in it, to be honest. It has like a little bit of a glow. It's like lum it's like a luminous oil and it actually is absorbing way faster than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be one of those oils that just sits on your skin and you're like, yay, oil, mmm, yummy. But it's actually not, it's absorbing so fast. Is my face dehydrated? <laughs> I just have a slight, subtle glow to my skin. It's not like oily at all. You guys, I'm not greasy. You can literally see in the camera, I'm not greasy at all. I just have a subtle glow to my skin. What in the oil spill? So far, honestly, so good. I was very pleasantly shocked. I thought it was gonna be a really like oily oil where I was gonna be like, oh. <laughs> like I just don't like oils on my skin as much unless I'm sleeping with them, like a nighttime oil, yes. Daytime oil, not so much for me, but it doesn't feel like an oil. I freaking love it. Okay, so now you guys, I'm gonna go in with the foundation right now and concealer really quickly so we can test out the powder on top of that. I'm gonna go in with the new Anastasia Luminous Foundation. I've actually never tried this one. We're gonna take the shade 220N. This is going to Morphe M6 brush. We're just gonna pat this in. Might be a little golden for me, this color. Might be a little too gold, but we're just gonna test it out for the video. We're just gonna try it out right now. Wow, this is very luminous. Luminosity on 1000. Cute. I thought it was actually gonna be a lot less coverage in this, but it's really nice. Okay. This shade's a little too golden for me, but 
It's fine. We're just testing some shit out, okay? We're just testing something out. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with a concealer and we're gonna just place some concealer on my under eye. And we're gonna go ahead and set with the Becca powder. That's exactly what we're gonna be doing now to test out the Becca powder. You guys, last time I tested the Becca powder, I did not like it. My skin now looks orange and I don't like that. It, for some reason, oxidized on me. The consistency of the powder was incredible. I thought it was probably the nicest feeling powder I've ever felt in my entire life because it felt like almost like a creamy, watery powder. It's very hard to describe. However, when I put it on, it oxidized my foundation and my concealer. It was literally unwearable for me. Like it literally turned everything I was wearing darker than what it needed to be. So I just did not like that at all. We're just gonna try it out again. Let's just see what the fuck's going on. This is a weightless powder, sets and refreshes makeup for a silky smooth, invisible finish. Formulated with 50% water and glycerin. Creates a mist-like sensation on the skin. Very true, honestly, it feels like actual water. It's insane. So this guy, you guys, retails for $39. And so that's a pretty pricey powder. You guys, honestly, in the first two products, Products. The Wander Illuminating Oil and this combined, that is $81. And this box is $21. So it's just shocking. It's shocking beauty is what it is. I don't know how they do it. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and test out the Big Chipotle. <laughs> so keep me closed to keep me cool. I see what you did there. Let me feel it. <sighs> this truly shocks me every single time I touch this powder because it I've never felt anything like it. It feels Wet, it's so weird. I can't describe it, but I love it. The way it feels, the way it feels. I'm loving this little Anastasia foundation. Okay, so now we're gonna take some of the powder. Oh Lord, please, please. Take a little bit of the powder and we're gonna dust that on our cheeks to see what happens. It's not getting darker. Oh my God. Did Becca reformulate? Oh my God. <gasps> okay, so this is what the face looks like. I'm honestly shocked. This is so much better than the last time I tried this powder. I'm not kidding you guys. Like I'm honestly blown away. It oxidized on me so that therefore I can't like use it again. You guys, okay, I'm truly truly blown away that this is not making my foundation a lot darker. I mean, it's a, like when you add a powder to something, it ends up being like slightly darker. I'm not gonna lie, like just a little bit when it sets it usually. But this, like what is happening here? Girl, this is shocking. This is so shocking. What? Okay, so guys, this is what the face looks like. It's, <laughs> how is this happening? How is this happening? Literally, that's how I use this. It literally made my foundation darker. Did they, they had to, have, they, had to have reformulated because I'm not kidding you guys. It would, it literally was turning my foundation underneath me orange and it was literally insane. But this, they must have reformulated because that was a long time ago. They must have. I'm convinced. I'm convinced. I'm shocked, truly. I'm truly shocked. Pleasantly shocked. I mean, slight, okay, you guys, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bit darker than when I started it with just the foundation, but I feel like it's not so drastic like it was the last time I tried it. The last time I tried it, it went way darker, way darker, like shades darker. And right now I don't feel like it's shades darker. What is happening? What is happening? Wow, okay guys, I'm gonna go and do my rest of my face, the parts that are not in the box here. I'm gonna try those out and we're gonna come back for the eyes to try the little Ace Beauty shadows and the lip and the mascara. So I will be right back with the face completed and the brows done. Wow. I'm a lot more tan in today's video. Wowie. Woo, child. Okay guys, what is up? I am currently back. I just went ahead and I just did a full strawberry dream moment on the eyes. And then I'm gonna go in with this from Ace Beauty on the lid. These are the Glimmer Shadow Duos. Highly pigmented soft shadows with a creamy texture, specifically designed for the ultimate color payoff. These shadows provide bold color in one side without fallout, creasing or fading. MSRP, $25. So I'm assuming $25 for the pair of them. They remind me a lot of the ColourPop ones, like just with the way they look, with the packaging, everything about them. They remind me a lot of ColourPop. These two together, I'm assuming retail for $25. That's pretty pricey, I'm not gonna lie, for what it is. Let me see, feel smooth. Oh wow, and they're very pigmented. Okay, love that, they feel very good. And they have this cute quilt patterning, which I really like as well. The silver one feels just as amazing as the maroon one does. So I'm not gonna use the silver one, but I'm gonna swatch it on my hand so you guys can see exactly what it looks like. Very pigmented, very nice, wow. I'm just gonna swatch the pink one right next to it, right there. 
The silver one has more of a pop and has more glitter reflect in it. But I feel like for with the look that I'm wearing on my eyes, I'm gonna use the pinky one. Oh, oh my gosh, and they squish just like the ColourPop ones do too. They're squishy. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's not get crazy. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that on my lid. As such, it absolutely reminds me so much of the little ColourPop single shadows, for sure. But they're working nicely. It's very creamy, very emollient and easy to blend and easy to apply with a finger. I'm more of a finger applier with these kind of things anyway. What do you guys think? It's cute, it's actually really cute. I think that for $25, I think that's a little bit pricey for what they are, but they are working very nicely. And for getting them in a box worth $21, I think that's a major, major win for sure. I'm looking very romantic right now. So that is that for the eye. Every time I use like one of the box of products, I just place it right back. In the little box, we're just piling on up. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the mascara from Tarte. This guy is the Big Ego Tarte Mascara, and this guy retails for $23. It is a ultra black vegan mascara that lifts your lashes and delivers a fully loaded flutter up to 16 hours. I have used this before, and I love how neon and bright the packaging is. It literally reminds me of my sign in the back. Like, it is ridiculously bright and intense, and I love that about this. And I love the brush tip. It reminds me a lot of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara tip. To me, that's what it reminds me of, personally. Let me just curl my lashes real quick. So I'm gonna take our little Tarte Mascara. Miss Big Ego. This is really cool that they have this. Like, the fact that they have a full-size Tarte Mascara in there is pretty wild to me. I love that. BoxyCharm seriously comes in clutch with the products that they use in the box. Like, honestly, seriously. And I would not, you guys, I would not do a monthly unboxing video with the brand if I truly did not think that Boxy was worth it. And I truly do think that they are. Like, from the bottom of my heart, I really, really, really do. They slay it. Pretty good, pretty good. I wish it lifted my lashes better. I'm just like, I need a good lash lift, you guys. I just, maybe I should get a lash lift. Maybe I should really get a lash lift. Oh my God, why don't I? That is with the mascara on the top and bottom lashes. I wish I would made them look a little bit more full on the lower lashes, but I think it's because the bristle is so big, like the wand is so massive that I'm like nervous to put on the lower lashes because I'm like, okay, well, is it like gonna hit my skin? You know what I mean? But anyway, that is that. And you guys, we are on to our last product. We have the Steve Laurent Lip Liner. Reshape, resize, and redefine your pout. This lip pencil is total magic. It smooths over your lip line for a seamless and flawless finish, completely waterproof. So no transferring or bleeding all day long. Lasts up to seven hours. Retails for $15 for the Steve Laurent. I've actually never heard of the brand Steve Laurent in my entire life. Have you guys heard of Steve Laurent? Nope, nope, never heard of them. Never heard of them, but we'll see if we like the pencil. I mean, I think $15 for the pencil is pretty pricey. It's like, mm, it's like, I feel like that's very normal for like a higher end brand pencil, like, me like medium end pencils. I think it's pretty normal, but for one that I've never heard of, I'm like, oh, it's pretty pricey. Made in China, this is in the shade Vogue, and the color of it is, it's like a deep berry shade. It's not as creamy as I would want it to be. It's pigmented, but it's just not creamy. It feels very dry on the hand. And usually when it comes to like a waterproof, mm, yeah, because usually when it's like a waterproof type pencil, they tend to drag a little bit more intensely and they tend to crack a little bit more, which I don't like. So we're gonna go and just try this out and just see what we think. I'm gonna do like a little feathering motion. I'm gonna go very light with it, to be honest. I'm gonna go very light with it. I just feel like it could be more pigmented and not as dry. Yeah, it's extremely dry. This pencil is very, very, very dry. It's a little intense for me to use. It's really hard, actually, for me to use. And I don't like it very much. Hmm. Yeah, and it's like patchy. Do you see what's happening here? You guys see what's happening right there? Okay, I just gotta layer it several times to get there. Okay. Hmm. Not loving that very much. Should we quite finish? I'm just gonna go and try to blend the pencil. If I can put on a little lipstick on top of it. Okay. Let's see, let's just do a gloss bucket. We're just gonna go with the gloss on top. This is from Lunar Beauty, Dreamy Gloss. Yeah, definitely needed that. Okay, I'm gonna go put a pair of lashes on and I'll be right back to see the final look and we'll see what our verdict is of Miss August's box. What are we thinking? 
Okay, guys, and this is the final look using Miss August Boxy Charm. What do we think? What do we think of the box total? Honestly, I truly think collectively as everything is here, I think that this box of August is definitely worth it. When adding up the total of the price points, let's go ahead and add it on up. Let's do it right now. Just get our calculator open. Cause you know, I ain't doing it by myself. We have Becca Hydramus, $39, plus Wander Illuminating Oil, $42, plus Tarte Big Ego, $23, plus Ace Beauty Duo for $25, plus $15 Laurent Pencil, $144 of product, and you're paying $21. So honestly, I truly do think that this box was definitely worth it. I think that the value is even better than the last box I got. I truly think it's amazing. I'm really, 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 really pleased and happily surprised that the Becca, they must have changed their formula because it did not over oxidize on me like it did last time. The Wander Beauty, very impressed by this because it didn't feel like an oil. It literally just absorbed into my skin very, very fast. And it honestly looks really, I think that my face looks really nice actually, like more of a natural thing for me, but still really pretty. Big Eagle Mascara, freaking love it. I think it's absolutely amazing. I'm realizing a lot of the Too Faced better than sex. The Laurent Pencil, did not love it personally. I just don't, I know I won't use it again. It's just not my cup of tea for a pencil. I think it's a little bit too drying and it skips a lot. It's just not my cup of tea. The Ace Beauty Glimmer Shadows work very nicely. They remind me so much of ColourPop, just as glittery, creamy, and nice. I think it's a little pricey, $25 for the two, but you're getting it in a box for 21 for everything. I think it's totally, totally worth it. So the real thing in the box I didn't love was the pencil, but everything else I thought was really, really, really nice. And huge shout out to freaking BoxyCharm for creating this box and doing an amazing, amazing job at it. I really do think that you guys slay the box every freaking month. I don't know how you do it. How do you make money? I don't understand. Really, that was a good box. Like, it's a that was a good ass box. <laughs> I'm really impressed. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys had fun watching. I had so much fun creating it for you guys. I absolutely loved doing this. I love doing these little unboxings. I think they're really, really fun. And I actually really, really enjoyed it. And thank you to BoxyCharm for partnering with me in today's video. And let me be extremely honest and my authentic self with my opinions and things like that. Cause I know a lot of times when I work with brands, they do not want me to speak my full in-depth opinion about a lot of things. And I'm like, well, then I'm not fucking getting it. So thank you so much to BoxyCharm for letting me be me in these videos. I really, really appreciate it for letting me curse. Let me just be myself. I really appreciate it so thank you guys and i love your guys's box it was a great job and i love your guys's brand you guys slayed it again again gorge <laughs> i love you guys so much have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye guys i love you Mwah. un video juego no it's against video game but <laughs> this fucking hair driving me fucking crazy why am i drinking pre-workout right now i'm not going to the gym i'm not going to the gym today <laughs> Let's get this bitch started. Wow, romantic. Charmer, where'd my box go? Where'd my box go? There you are, sweet girl.